What's up everyone, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com and before I get into a really cool video of me abusing some Sapphire Crystal, I wanted to give a big thanks to everyone who has supported the PhoneDog YouTube channel because, well, we just crossed a humongous milestone, that's my favorite word, to 100 million video views at PhoneDog.com's YouTube channel, and that is a humongous number again. I mean, I can't even wrap my head around that number. So many of you guys have watched and subscribed, commented and liked our videos, and we are all so thankful for all of you who have supported PhoneDog's YouTube channel. I mean, all of us who make videos at PhoneDog, we love doing what we do, and without you guys, we would not have our same jobs right now. We'd be completely different people doing completely different things. So thank you to everyone who has supported PhoneDog's YouTube channel, and here to another next 200 million video views and again let's go ahead and get to that video because it's a really cool video of me smashing some sapphire crystal What's up everyone, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com and welcome to a completely brand new era of the mobile industry. Now I'm talking about Sapphire Crystal and the implementation of Sapphire Crystal for future devices. So many of you guys already know about the iPhone 6 is rumored to have Sapphire Crystal. Numerous devices are gonna have Sapphire Crystal. In my opinion, I think by mid 2015, most of the phones will be coming with Sapphire Crystal displays because they're getting cheaper to make and more and more people are becoming attracted towards that material and Sapphire Crystal Crystal is a tremendously awesome thing. I mean, they've been using on it on uh, luxury watches for quite a long time. A lot of industrial purposes with Sapphire Crystal, I mean, it's extremely hard, extremely rigid, and also very scratch resistant, which is a humongous key thing to have on your cell phone because your cell phone has a big display and you don't want that display to get damaged or scratched. And for the last eight or nine years, phones have been using something called Corning Gorilla Glass, which is this kind of really hardened glass, but it's still basically glass, but just has a few extra layers of protection to be more scratch resistant and so far they've been they've held up really well uh, they still get scratched pretty easily you know from keys and rocks and dropping them and they also become shattered quite easily if you drop them on a harder surface and if you remember from my Kyocera Brigadier unboxing that phone actually comes with a sapphire crystal display so I thought to myself maybe I should do some kind of stress test and see how much damage that phone can take without actually breaking the phone because well this phone is not actually mine, so I'm gonna have some kind of limitations, but the things that I'll do to this phone will really damage any other smartphone, so don't do this at home, don't try this with your own cell phone, unless you have this phone and we're willing to take the chance of actually damaging the display, don't try what you're about to see at home. But before we get into that, let's do a little bit of science just to know what we're talking about. So welcome to my science lesson 101. First thing we're talking about is called the Mohs hardness scale. Now Mohs is basically a scale of one to 10 where it tells you the surface hardness of each type of substance. So things like glass is around a 5.5. A diamond is an absolute 10. It's the hardest substance on Earth. There's nothing harder than that that we know of or you know we have access to on this planet. Uh, so sapphire crystal is about a 9. It's really hard and the only thing numerically and scientifically that can scratch sapphire crystal is something harder which is diamond. So unless you have like a diamond knife that you'll want to jab at your phone you're really not gonna scratch it now that is if it's pure sapphire which this is actually is the iPhone's kind of rumored to have a blend of sapphire and glass but the big point here is sapphire crystal is an extremely hard surface it's really really hard it's really hard to scratch and it's gonna be a little bit harder to break and shatter if you drop it so with that out of the way let's get into the actual test of the Kyocera Brigadier We'll start at the practical level, say with a set of keys that you have in your bag or pocket. We'll just drag the keys onto the display, lightly tap in some areas and see if we pick up any damage. Now I'll be a little bit more forceful with stabbing and dragging the keys, trying to get the teeth of the keys to dig into the display. But still no scratching on the display. Next I'll take this box cutter from an exposed razor trying to scratch the display by running it up and down and also in a circular pattern. But still no damage. Okay, so this is my last effort and you definitely do not want to try any of this with your phone at home because one, it is very sharp and very dangerous so you can get hurt or you can really damage your smartphone or anyone around you as well. So out of frustration, I'm gonna skip the lightly dragging and go for really strong jabs and deep cuts into the panel. And believe it or not, we still have no scratches. 
So after all I could throw at the Brigadier, it still withstood all I could throw at it without actually just like throwing it off a building or anything. It's extremely strong stuff. I mean, Sapphire Crystal, I mean, they've been used on watches for ages, uh, used in industrial purposes for labs and all that kind of stuff. It's extremely clear, it's extremely strong, and it's very, very scratch resistant. I mean, unless you have, again, a diamond knife, you're really not gonna scratch this kind of stuff. It's extremely hard. And my kind of vision is by 2015, most phones will be coming with sapphire crystal displays. I mean the HTC one the Galaxy S whatever the notes this whatever phone They're all gonna be coming with sapphire crystal because it's a, just a better technology for your phone It's more clear. It's stronger. It is pricey But by the time of 2015 and 2016 that technology will be more accessible for other companies I mean Apple bought a completely big plant in Arizona just to make this kind of stuff and other plants are already making sapphire and have been for quite a long time so Samsung is probably just gonna go pay people to make them an LG and HTC and Apple they have the money to do it and they will because it's just better technology it's just a matter of time until sapphires and everything we're gonna have sapphire dishwasher sapphire, uh, sapphire TVs sapphire uh, IPS displays on on computers sapphire everything it's just great stuff and I can't wait to see it roll out everywhere so if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them below if you have any questions ask them directly to me on Twitter to at phone dog underscore Marco. And as always, my name is Marco Hanna from phonedog.com and I'll catch you guys in the next one.